maintain and repair of automation and control system of main propulsion and auxiliary machinery. SCADA Introduction and Application SCADA Introduction Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition SCADA, is a system that aims to monitor and control field devices at your remote sites. SCADA is a centralized system that monitors and controls the entire area. This supervisory system gathers data on the process and sends the commands control to the process. The main goal of this supervisory system is to monitor and control equipment in the industrial processes for companies in the public and private sectors. As a matter of fact, in today's world, there are SCADA systems almost everywhere. This includes industrial plants, manufacturing, transportation, oil and gas, power distribution, water control and etc. 4. SCADA Functions SCADA systems perform several functions that allow for proper management of remote facilities. The following are the core functions of a SCADA system. Data Acquisition The collection of SCADA data frequently involves some kind of analog to digital conversion. Temperature is converted to degrees Celsius. Transmit signal strength is converted to dBm. Channel quality is measured in arid seconds. Networked data communication. The collected data is transmitted either spontaneously or in response to a request for data to some kind of upstream consolidator or master. The communication channel can be analog, T202, POTS, or digital, RS485, TCP, IP. SCADA network topology typically also includes some kind of transport validation independent of any content validation. Data presentation. The collected data is processed, organized and presented for system operators to make appropriate response and control decisions. The presentation can vary from tabular presentation of logged events to graphical presentation against mapping or image backgrounds. Control. If control decisions are warranted and the system supports output, appropriate commands can be dispatched to affect specific operational or configuration changes. Most control actions are performed by RTU and PLC. The four main components of SCADA. If you plan to deploy a SCADA system, then you need to know and understand the four important system components that present in every SCADA network. Yours might be tailored to your specific requirements, but it will need the following basic components. Inputs. Inputs, either digital or analog, and output relays or electrical signals, that directly interface with managed elements in the remote sites. That's where the SCADA functions start. These sensors and control relays perform the data acquisition, but can't interpret communication protocols on their own. But your SCADA system still needs a way to collect this data, and report it to you in a meaningful way. That's where RTUs come into play. Remote Telemetry Unit, also known as a Remote Terminal Unit, RTU, serves as local collection points for gathering reports from sensors, and delivering commands to control relays. HMI software is a computer master station system that processes data and allows a human operator to manage and control the system. HMIs provide the human operator with information gathered from multiple RTUs. Communications network. The communications network is what connects telemetry and SCADA at your remote sites. Today, one of the most common communications technologies is Ethernet.